How's it going my friends? My name is Forge and today I'm going to show you a very awesome piece of software that was created by Cargem. This is a Minecraft Bedrock Edition launcher which will allow you to travel to any version of Minecraft on the Windows 10 that you want. You can go through the betas, the regular versions, and even the early versions as far back as 0.14. This is an incredible piece of software which I believe a lot of people will be using in the near future. So without any video, we're just going to get right into the showcase. Now once you download the launcher, then you're going to be greeted with a similar menu than what you find on the Java Edition. And so you got yourself installations, you got skins, then there's also patch notes, which obviously is self-explanatory. It will show you everything about every single version. So if you want to know something about what happened in that version, then you can just go ahead and click on this. Then it will open up the change log, and I love this quite a bit. Because the one thing I absolutely hate, whenever a new update releases, you have to go to the official Minecraft feedback site and just having it like that, it just makes things so much easier. But this is only in beta for the time being. This is not a public release. So if you want to stay up to date whenever this does get public release, just go ahead and make sure you're subscribed to the channel and turn on notifications because I will be making a video once this is officially public. So keep that in mind. But now let's go ahead and see exactly what kind of settings that we got. So if I click on this, then we have ourselves a few settings. We also have the language and we have the launcher theme. Now this is something I absolutely love because you can choose whatever theme that you want. You can go for Bedrock Edition Master, which if I go back over here, then this is what it now looks like. And if you're wondering about the logo, that's just a little Easter egg that the creator puts out of here. So we got the Bedrock Edition Standard which is without the goldish background. We got the legacy console era. Now I like the console ones. These are pretty cool. So let me go ahead and choose the original legacy console. I click on bedrock edition. And does anybody recognize this? This is what the console edition box art looked like. We have the mid legacy one. So let's go back. And this is what the second box art looked like. Like on the Xbox one edition. I think the next one which is late legacy. I think this one might be the Wii U edition. Yeah, this is the one that the Wii U had. But I'm not entirely too sure if there is a theme for PlayStation 3. So we got the Minecraft Dungeons, and we have Original, and we have the Indie Days. I'm kind of curious about the Indie Days one. Oh, this is the PlayStation one I was talking about. Okay, so it does in fact have the PS3 one. So short story short, you just have a bunch of themes. Now another cool thing is if you want to go to the Java launcher, like let's say you own the Java edition, then you can just go ahead and click on this and it will open up the Java launcher. Now that's also going to be quite useful if you're somebody that switches between Java and Bedrock a lot like I do. So then we have installations. And the cool thing about this is that you can create different installations. So let's say you want a specific installation for only your add-ons that you play with or an installation for all your development add-ons and same thing for the worlds and so on and so forth. Well this is something that's going to be very useful for that. So let me go ahead and call this test. Just for a quick example, then we have the release. Now in the release, we have all the different versions of Bedrock Edition. And I think it would be quite nice if there was like a way to like scroll down fairly quickly instead of just like, you know, using the mouse wheel. But for all the different versions, every single version is inside of here from the latest beta all the way to 0 0.13. And I haven't tried to see if these work or not, but I know for a fact that 0.14 works, so you can go as far back as the first Windows 10 version. It won't go all the way like Pocket Edition or anything like that, if you're wondering about that. Because obviously, the Windows 10 edition didn't happen until 0.13 came around. I'm just going to go for 1.14, and then I'm going to click on Create. And now our pack is right here. Now the moment I click on Play, then it's going to start to download that version that you're playing on. So for me, as I mentioned, I chose 1.14. Even though it's downloading the version, you still need to own the game. Because it's downloading all the versions that you're playing on from directly from the store, which is the Microsoft Store. Make sure that if you want to play in beta, that you join the Xbox Insider of. It's now registering the packages. And look at this. Minecraft is now loading up. And once it's done loading, we should be in 1.14. And I like this a lot. This would be extremely useful just to go between different versions of the game. So 
So you know that series that Green and a bunch of others did a while back, which was Evo? Well, you can do a Bedrock Edition version of Evo, and the cool thing is, whenever you're playing on this installation, you can go back and you can change the version that you want. Now I'm going to add a load at the launcher again, and if I click on installations, we can edit the individual installations that we have. So if you want to stay on the same place where all your maps are at, and all your add-ons, but you just want to change the version, well you can do exactly that. So we are in our same installation. So if I were to click 1.16.0.55 beta, and then every world that we created in the 1.14 era, or any of the add-ons that we have, they will still be present inside of here as long as we're in the same installation as when those worlds were created. And you can also change the icon if you wanted to. And so if you want a bookshelf, or if you want a creeper face, then you can do that. Or you can just go and put in your own type of image. It's pretty much up to you. But let me go ahead and click on save. And this goes see what else we got here. So as I mentioned, skin packs. Now this is pretty cool. You can import skin packs. So let's say you go onto MCPEDL and you download a skin pack of a bunch of YouTubers or a bunch of characters from a popular cartoon, whatever kind of skin pack you might be downloading, then you can just import it directly inside of here and you can use that within the game, which I absolutely love. Then there's also the new button. If I click on new, you can make your own type of pack. We have patch notes, as I mentioned in the beginning. As I mentioned in the beginning, this will be very useful if you want to know exactly what it's going to be in which version. And I believe that this will auto update as well. It means that you don't have to wait forever for this to be updated. Instead, you can just go and load it up. And just like with the Java launcher, you will find the newest version there. I'm going to go ahead and show you me loading up just a regular old world from the very, very early days. Like I will try 0.13 and I'll see if that works. So let me go ahead and click on save and let's see if 0.13 works. I really don't know if this will work or not, but if it does, okay, it does not work. 0.13.2. Let's try that one, which is the last version of 0.13. Yeah, this one don't work either. But 0.14, that will in fact download and that will in fact work. It is now registering and it's launching. And right here, look at this, 0.14.0. So let me go and click on play. And I'm going to create up a new world. And I'm going to just play in creative mode for the time being, because why not? So here we are. And look how quick that loaded. It still can't get over about how quick the world's loaded back then. I mean, why doesn't the world's generate that quick anymore? But we are literally playing in 0.14 all the way in the olden days of the game. You could go back and you could download your favorite worlds that no longer work, you can go back to whenever shaders were working on the Windows 10 and then you can play with your favorite shaders yet again on a new survival world, which that version would have been 1.16.0. So that would have been like before 1.16.100 when the Render Dragon engine did take over. So if you wanted to play with shaders, then that would be the version that you would want to go to, just the plain old 1.16 for its release. But with that being said, that is basically in a nutshell on how the launcher works. Now if you are wondering, all your worlds and files, they will be stored in this same location, which is the com.mojing folder. And I am a big fan of this piece of software. In my own opinion, this is something that I think Mojang should have done a very long time ago. But I do think it's pretty cool that people are still coming up with some really cool creations like this piece of software. The creator Car Jim, he did an incredible job on making everything for this piece of software. And I can see this being something that everybody's going to be using pretty much every day. Now down below in the comments, I do want you to tell me on what you think of this piece of software. And once this program is available to the public, I will leave a link down below in the description. And so you can download this new program. This program probably won't be out for quite a while. So try to keep that in mind. And if you enjoyed this video, then please consider leaving a like on it and subscribe if you're new around here. And don't forget to turn on notifications. And for now, hope you have a logical day. And I will catch you next time. Goodbye.